Well, and I'm here at the Winnebago Torvalds booth, and uh, I might let uh, Adam go through the hikes uh, tomorrow, but we have more minis, as you recall, when I was at Winnebago uh, last fall. They only had one mini on display. Now they have like, like the, whole, um, the whole lineup of minis. So let's look at a couple of these. Let's start with the outside, of course. And here's uh, that basement, huge basement, and it, has, it does have ducts, so I'm assuming that here we have, uh, uh, you know, it's heated. There's the, the charge controller there for the, yeah, that, that I'm assuming is the, the charge controller for the solar. And here we have some uh, pass through to the inside of the rig, which seems very nice. And um, you know, there's some people in there now, so we're gonna look at another one, I guess. Or while they, while they look inside. Here we have an outside kitchen with a, with a two burner suburban here. And uh, which is, uh, oops, I did it again. And the sink and a compressor style refrigerator out here. Well, we, this is the floor plan right here. Of course, it comes with the, with the Comfort Tech and the Explorer package and all that stuff. It's, uh, it's 26 feet long. It's uh, dry weight, five, almost 5,400. And this is the, the floor plan with, a, with one uh, slide out. This is, of course, eight feet wide. Okay, this one has the Murphy bed in the front that, as you can see, turns into a sofa if you put it all the way up, which you can't because somebody didn't put the, the mattress correctly, but this turns into a sofa right there. And um, the, the TV very well positioned in front of your sofa right there. The kitchen, this is pretty uh, decent amount of uh, prep space. This back here, it's a natural for the Berkey water filter, of course. Some some room here, so some storage. And here, well, this is not a drawer, but down here, these are pretty deep drawers. That's the, the package that they give you with the, with the manuals and all that. And down here, good spot to put the garbage can and uh, more storage back here. And uh, that's uh, what it is. This one, of course, as you know, when Abrego decided to forego uh, the, the regular propane oven, and now all, all of this, they come with a convection microwave, which kind of makes sense, especially now that batteries are getting better and maybe if you can get a, a good enough inverter, you can run that, that, micro, that, in, in, that convection microwave. And uh, the, with that, you get more storage down here. Because let's be honest, those uh, propane RV ovens are, aren't that great. And this is a nice refrigerator. I believe this is the same one I have in Mini Tini 2. And these are, these are the, some of the better Dometic uh, two-way refrigerators for sure. We have a little bit of storage up here. By the way, this is a slide out. And the, what I like about this RV, and you know me, this RV will be fully functional with the slide in. Here we have the wireless charger for your iPhone or Android phone. It's pretty nice, lots of room to put like all your, your toiletries, storage down here. It is, however, a plastic toilet, but that is, I'm sure it's a weight saving uh, uh, thing that they're doing. And let's see the shower. I'm 5'10". Yeah, I, I mean, a six foot tall person would fit in here, but any taller than that, you probably have to be under the skylight area which uh, I see they, they put that, that new shroud that they've been doing. This is a huge closet area here inside the bathroom, by the way. Look at this. I mean, you can put a lot of stuff in here, a lot of clothes. And yeah, this is a, yeah, I like, I like this, uh, this type of, of rod here in the bathroom to, 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 hang, uh, to put a hanger and here more. Here's a, your um, your curtain, no blackout curtain, I'm sorry to say, but hey. And there they are fixing that Murphy bed that someone... I feel eh. like if you go <laughs> the other one over the top... Well, as you can see, they, they, they fixed the Murphy bed, and uh, let me show you. Let me show It's a two-handed operation, and uh, as you know, I've done this before because I was at Winnebago last fall. So, 
here we go. You go like this, but it doesn't work that way. This, this mattress has like a wedge here and the, the rear mattress goes under the front mattress and you have to push it. Which the only negative about that is that you wouldn't be able to put a, like a custom mattress on this thing. It has to be the one provided by one of one. That's supposed to stay there, which of course is not staying, but maybe because somebody did it wrong initially and now and now this just is a regular jackknife sofa that comes up like this and my band-aid came off <laughs> so there's the murphy bed and the sofa which is perfectly positioned to watch television okay this is the mini this was the mini mini 20, 2201 mb MB probably stands for Murphy bed. I'm just taking a wild guess here. <laughs> okay, this one, let's see, this one has a nice storage here. No pass through to the inside, that's the battery disconnect. That's the, over there, if you can see it, that's the, the solar prep. Water heater on this side and refrigerator on this side. And this one has uh, three options here for the sofa, a trifold, the theater seating or sofa with chaise and the dinette with tables or regular dinette which is pretty cool, pretty cool to have options. This one is the 2701 RBS, uh, 46, 40, uh, 46 uh, 445 uh, MSRP, but today you can, you can have it for 33, 440 here at the show. Woo. Let's start here in the back. We have the bathroom. We have quite a bit of storage here. That's me, that will be me with my uh, foggy uh, glasses. Where's plastic toilet, same shower, same deal, so I'm not gonna go in there. This one, this uh, has a, the, the vent there, like every bathroom does. And this one comes with the recliner option. Very well positioned in front of the TV where it should be. And down here we have more storage. And this is a very nice refrigerator. I mean, it, it looks very nice. And it is, guess what this is? This is a compressor-based refrigerator, I think. I don't see any controls. So this is compressor, fully compressor refrigerator. That's nice. Of course, no propane oven. Here we have storage down there, our convection microwave, and plenty of storage here. I don't know if I would like to add maybe a um, shelves. I'm sure it is doable to add like Shelving here because it seems like a very large cavernous space there. Oh, here are the keys. Should, should we take the keys? <laughs> Those are the keys right there. There's the dinette that converts into a bed, of course. And this is the, that new style that Guanabego is doing. That is like super easy. You just unlock here and uh, boom, that's it. It goes down. It's pretty cool. And then you have to lock it back up. There you go. And here's the bedroom, walk around bed. He's, you know, both sides have power and have a USB wardrobe closet on both sides. And that's a, it's on the smallish side, but it is a TV. And if you want privacy, you can always first you have to do this, of course. And then it's a sliding door. This back. Uh, that's refre refreshingly simple, you know, so some doors have like these complicated latches or anything. This one just has a bungee cord. Pretty cool. Well, this is the mini right here. And uh, oh, what is this? Oh, huge closet. It's almost like a walk-in closet. Look at that. You know what? I could, I could hide in here. That's the smuggling compartment. Let's go. Let's continue. Let's see another one of these minis. All right, this one is the Mini. Oh, it was great to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. This is the Mini 2500. I think this gentleman is gonna buy one, buy one of those. So there you go. And he was telling me that his his uh, his favorite feature is that the bed is in the back, and and you don't see that a lot in 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 travel trailers. Usually they put the bed in the front. It's I guess the the easier design, but this is pretty cool. 
here in the front of the trailer. And I think the fr very few trailers have windows in the front for obvious reasons. But it, it, this one here has the recliner in the front, USBs, you know, you have all the, 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 the charging uh, uh, um, plugs for anything you need. But then the TV is right in front, smack in front of, of your recliners, which my only thing, the recliners would be unusable with the slide in. But then you could sit in the, in the dinette and watch TV in the dinette. So that's cool. Here we have the L-shaped uh, kitchen here. Oh man, that's a huge, huge cavernous space there, more than an elbow deep. A GFCI uh, power plug there, very large uh, sink here, as you can see, with this uh, double. A little bit of a counter space, I would like to see a counter extension maybe. That's the only thing, if you cook a lot, that can be a problem. Convection microwave here. And uh, of course, this one does not have the oven. Yeah, but all, all the micro minis, as you know, they, they decided not to put an oven in lieu of more storage space, which kind of makes sense. This one's got a lot of storage. Yeah, and yeah, and there. here, everywhere, yeah. And uh, these are our three-way refrigerator, which these are very nice. This is exactly the same model I'm having in my micro mini. And uh, it's one of the better uh, absorption style refrigerators I've seen. Here's the bathroom. Yeah, we have a plastic toilet. But, uh, you know, it is that way. That's a nice drawer to have in the bathroom to put, like, I guess, extra toiletries. It's kind of uh, bumps here a little bit, but you can still access everything, which is good. This is the same sink that I have in Minitini. And uh, lots of storage here to, for those extra shampoo and all that kind of thing. Let me see the shower here. Yeah, same deal. If you are up to six feet tall, this shower will wake, work great for you. If you are over six feet tall, uh, maybe tight. And this, no, okay, this does not. I, I thought it might be like a, like a second door. It could double as a second door, but. All right, this is a lot of, this is a pretty big closet. And I like having a hanging wardrobe closet because sometimes, you know, you have your tuxedo, or well, nobody travels with the tuxedo anymore, but you know what I mean. Oh my God, look at that. How many drawers? How many pairs of socks can you have? And then here, towards the back, and this is the, probably the, the best undocumented feature of this RV. Just imagine, you're backing into uh, the most expensive campground I've ever been to, uh, Camp Golf in Destin, and uh, that's the Gulf of Mexico right there, the tur turquoise water of the er Emerald Coast. And that, has, that is the view. That is the view from your bedroom. That's amazing. I think more, uh, more uh, RV manufacturers should put the bedroom in the back. That's a great idea. Oh, now here we have uh, the, the nightstands and big drawers too. And more, more wardrobe uh, closet, more hanging closet for for those uh, things that can get uh, wrinkled or what or whatnot, huge cavernous, put, um, you know, throughout space up there. You can even put probably put like a golf club up there. It's like very large. And then here we have storage in the back, which is almost it's also very unusual for an RV. But since the bed is back here, this is huge. You can put a lot of stuff here, and of course these minis are eight feet wide compared to the micro minis that are seven. So it's, you, you got a lot of space. Here we have, oh, what is this? Oh, that's the, oh, the jacks. Okay, it has electric jacks. So you don't have to pull out your, your, your drill, your cordless drill anymore and go vr, vr, and up and down. So that's another, another good feature to have, electric jacks. And we do not have storage in the front. This is only that storage in the back. <laughs> All right, that was called the 2500 FL. That's very nice if you, if you have the, the tow vehicle to tow it. 27 feet long, dry weight is 5,140, hitch weight 700. So you probably need a, a, a good, uh, you know, full-size uh, truck for this. 2301 BHS, not VHS with a V, but with a B, BHS. And you have several options here. 
bunkhouse apparently, right? BHS, is that what it stands for? Nice outdoor kitchen. We've seen it's, it's the same as the other one with the two burner and the sink and the compressor, compressor style refrigerator. This one has the bathroom in the back here and bunks. Here we have bunks, very nice. And we have storage underneath the bunks and it's like a pass through here. I don't know, probably, I don't know what that pass through is. Some service to, to service the something back there, who knows? And the bathroom, very, very similar in size. I, I forgot just to check in the other ones. I think they had the same curtain style. Let's get in the bathroom. It's yeah, basically the same height as all the ones we've seen. This is exactly the sink we have in Minitini 2. And this is a very nice. In this one, and that's the options that you have. This one comes with a U-shaped dinette. So you can watch television while you're having breakfast. That's uh, very nice. Some storage here. Here, all of them below the TV, they have that, that wireless charger, which is always nice to have. And uh, here we go. And then the kitchen, very nice, very nice. Quite a bit of counter space here, which I like. You know. And, um, and the bedroom here in the front. Yeah, this is kind of a more classic design, but very nice to have the bunk beds in the back if you have a, like, a, like a large family. All right, let's see what else is here. Okay, we've got one more mini, and this one is the 2108, no, the 2801 BHS. And it's a very similar design, I suppose, but just a tad longer. It has the same uh, kitchen in the back. 2101 BHS. Let's just take a quick look. Oh yeah, this one has a, a dual recliners and a dinette. And um, and I forgot what the other one had. You know, that's what happens at the RV show. After a while, it becomes kind of like a blur. <laughs> but, um, well, those are the minis. And as you know, when I was at Winnebago last fall, they, were, they only had one mini. I think I said that before. And now they have all these uh, different models. All right, on to something else. Coming to you once again from the Florida RV Super Show 2021. Oh, yeah, this one had the fridge on the other. Okay.